it would hurt people for us to be too far away from them. They wouldn't be able to see what we're thinking. They wouldn't be able to see the truth in our words. And our words are nothing but an expression of our eyes and our face and everything that's getting hit by the information as it comes in to our brain without something. There's, there's no action without a reaction. That's what happens in our brains. Everything that hits our faces and right, right back there. Do you ever feel your brain thinking? <laughs> Have you? Have I felt my brain thinking? Do you know where, what part well, of your brain like, is thinking when I, you're paying I, attention? I felt the, like, tingly, like that, you know, when you meditate and stuff. You know, yeah, it, it's, I can, I can I feel can what feel, part of my brain is thinking. It's like a circle. Um, and that's where you're at at the time. It's the chakra, the chakra, which makes perfect sense. Um, I don't even talk about whether there's a ganglion in there or not. Probably, but I haven't looked into it. So, yeah. You've got to be able to look at somebody. She says, are we too close? You gotta be able to look at them. Let them know. Words are for thought. Expressions are for feeling. So if you can get an expression out of what we're saying and what we're doing without having to squint to see it, you're already on the path to understanding where we are going with our words. At the very least, it would take a real dumbass to, uh, Siete. Siete's not dumbass. He came out, he thought that I saw somebody in the yard and he, as soon as I heard, he heard dumbass, he was out the door. I'll kill that motherfucker. He's sick of the dumbasses. But no, no, it's, um, it'd take a real dumbass to be able to look at somebody who's lying at him, lying to him straight in the face, knowingly. See, that's a difference too. You can see when somebody's knowingly lying to you, not like a sophism or something where you just think that it's the truth. That's harder because if somebody's telling you something they don't know for themselves and they're just fucking believing it and you're looking at them, all their expressions, they're true, they're true, they're true, but you look in their fucking eyes and they're just like, they don't know shit. Look at their eyes. They don't know shit. See how they go up and down. And, and, it, and if you find yourself, you're believing them and they, they are saying things are obviously not true. Ask them if they had a brain injury as a child. Maybe that's why their eyes go different ways of the rewiring, the neuroplasticity. So that's a, we need to be able to get close to you to talk about such things. Like, oh baby. Ah. Oh. We had a video <laughs> removed from last night. Cause look, stand here. Oh, I, I, I changed the, the camera position. But you know, usually I'm staring, I'm ah, da, 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 da. And it, it looked, you couldn't see my pants and I'm so thin. And what? Handsome and Handsome strong. And strong. And healthy. Healthy. And what, what else? <laughs> Young. Oh, there's the other one, though. The big one. Oh, gosh. Starts with an S. And strong. And ends with a T. <laughs> I'm a stud. <laughs> Student. Student. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Smart.
smart. Smart. I said intelligent. Well, I am I'm not used to hearing you say it that way. I, we didn't rehearse it that way. You're right, I know. I panicked. Yeah. Actually, that's what the woman down the road from her dad says to him every time she sees him. Yeah. He's young She's and healthy. Young and healthy. Strong. Strong. Smart. <laughs> it's like, I'm so well, sorry. I screwed that up. That's three o'clock in the morning. Uh, no, nah, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's got them on yeah. call if he wants it. Yeah, they, somebody driving. who says that to you, baby. They're always driving by checking out his wood pile. That's what yeah. he says. Yeah. <laughs> Getting about that time of year. Women start driving around checking out how big the wood pile is. Missed an opportunity once. <laughs> okay, we might as well tell that story. Oh, come on. Yeah. Yeah, we can tell that story. <laughs> Oh, the, the Glen's Market. Okay. This she told me after we were back, after we were together. Can't even say back together. We were never together. We were always with each other, but we were never together. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's in the most innocent way. We waited until after, uh, yeah, after it was official. Okay. But, uh, so she tells me this story in that time when we're getting to finally get to see both sides of the family, you know. And um, so you tell me about being with your dad and seeing my mom in the parking lot at Glen's Market in Gaylord? Yeah, so we were grocery shopping, walking, walking across, you know, walking out of the park, uh, grocery store across the parking lot and... Uh, his mom and I think jo I think Joni was with her. Oh, um, yeah. Pretty sure. yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. she was walking. They were walking towards us. We were walking, you know. And she was like, "What? What?" I'm, I'm waiting. Oh, Joni. Yeah. yeah. I, I love you. <laughs> and Dad had. Why a haven't you called? <laughs> you thought much about Grandma lately? I never thought much of her at all. <laughs> Sorry, there. That's you know what that's they call a, recall in a show, a, but you've never seen the show because I am very, very, very. Um, I honor people's privacy. Yeah, yeah. And so yeah. you haven't heard the story, yeah. but oh boy, hi. It happened hi. pretty fast. <laughs> it happened pretty fast. Gomer Pyle would have probably had a heart attack trying to say surprise that loud. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Surprise, surprise, yeah. surprise. Yeah. Oh, what a good time. But yeah, so yeah. So you're... we're walking across the park lab. They're walking towards us. Dad has... My mother and him. Uh, yeah, my sister and Victoria and her dad are coming across the parking lot. Yep. One going in, one going out. Glen's Market and Gaylord. Yep. And, and uh, he had his pants unzipped. And uh, his mother says, Oh, Mac, you know, your pants are down. And he says, Missed an opportunity once. <laughs> and what'd she say? What'd she say? I know she's giggled. What did she look like? She giggled like a schoolgirl. <laughs> Mind she was like, you. Oh, um, I, I don't have different. I, I don't have names for people. Yeah, <sighs> yeah you almost did it. I did. Mind you. The ladies this it, you know people can say all they want about you shouldn't have said that about your mother but this is probably the nicest thing i could say about my parents and it makes it sound so dirty but i was once at a wedding at my cousin's wedding in ohio <laughs> i'm sure it was Susie. maybe it was rosie um and we were all in a hotel a motel room the three of us, there were two beds. I was in one bed, I was up there and I was tired, I was going to sleep. And my mom and dad are sitting on the end of the other bed. 
and they'd turn the TV on. And it was in the days of, of sex channels on, but you Skinamax. were still supposed to <laughs> buy it. And, and it was, oh, right. it was yeah. channel X. Mm. And, uh, cause I looked at it the next day before I left, see what the fuck is it? And uh, it was on the little card that you read what channel is which. And they somehow, they turned the TV on and the porn was going. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just lay, lying there going to sleep. And I was like, what the hell is that? I was like 16 or something. I don't know, I was a kid. And um, I opened my eyes and I looked and there was a woman lying on her back with her mammary glands pushed up and a man with his um, glands was protruding the tunnel between and finding a the oral um, regions of the recipient at the same time. And I was like, ah, and I said, oh, oh, oh what the hell's going on? And my mom and dad are sitting there and, and I How see them. I was like, I am 15, uh, 16. Oh my gosh. I was on a trip with young. my parents yeah. to a wedding. So it would have been Rosie's. Yeah. And um, wow. they, are sitting on the end of the their bed, just on the end, like sitting on the edge of your seats. They're looking. I see them. I'm like, ha! Ah! And uh, and uh, and my mom says to my dad, "It was the most innocent thing I've ever heard." What are they doing? And I said, "Oh, what a lucky woman." You got old Al, who doesn't have any dirty desires or any twisted. He 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 talks. Never bought a pornographic magazine in his life. I I only bought one, but bef before I ever did that, I had one because I found it in a trash can at a speedway, and it was right on top, like like uh, uh, Newman's donut or <laughs> George's donut. It was right there. And it was clean. And I looked. And I said, huh. Yeah, I still have that porn mag, <laughs> but I did end up buying one just because my dad was so proud of never buying one. I bought a club magazine. Oh, there's one of my bumper sticker ideas. I, and then not a heart from the cards, but a club. And it says, my wife. What club? What? You're at you have the card symbol. Oh. I hurt oh. my dog head. I club my wife. Oh. Or you could have just a, a baby heart seal right on the other end of it. I club my baby heart seal. $30,000. Go ahead. Make it. We'll negotiate if you don't make enough money off it. But I think you're going to do quite well. I got $30,000. You think that's cheap? I got it coming from all over the place. Every one of you fuckers stealing my ideas. Even the doctors at CDC, you owe me $30,000. I've been telling you everything you needed to know. <laughs> and then you repeat it like it's your idea two weeks later. Sometimes six months. They're not so fast. They gotta figure out how to make it look like it's their idea. You see, I'm looking at them, you see? I'm looking right at you. That's why we're so close. And when we were sitting down, this is actually one of those that we planned. Ah. And so she had, here you go, baby. Thank you. Ah. She had a water. And I see the show. And she said something about, I had a drink and I hadn't had a drink today. That's her first one. having a drink and she said well maybe drink some and I, I said you know she's very healthy she drinks <laughs> water they can't even measure my cholesterol it's true <laughs> jinx you owe me a kiss mm. so I, and really look at this I looked I saw her with her water before she even said anything about a drink and when I was like you don't need to get a drink if you don't want to I said this 
it's not a requirement. It's something for fun, you know, and the idea that the mosquitoes in the studio. So sorry. They love me. Sorry. If you had to just follow every rule, mm. you'd be doomed. Like, if I come out fast, you don't see this. But if, I, if I planned one, I'm like, uh, Friar, Friar. It's a fantastic uh, little can holder and it reminds me of a, a past friend, a dead friend. Um, he would like the show. I might have 50 subscribers if he were alive. Yeah. But you see me with these other can coolers. You don't see me. If you see me without a shirt, it's because I've been home a while. Sometimes I come in, I'm like, ah, you know, this is not a costume. No. There are no rules on this show. There are no rules. And that keeps us from choosing sides. Well, there's rules against us kissing on camera. With me, with my shirt off. But, um, and actually, when I no. saw that it was illuminated this morning, I thought, all right, that was pretty sexy. But then I look at it on my on my phone, the the camera, the photos on my phone. I'm like, that wasn't so bad at all. Mm -hmm. But I'm I'm not gonna bother arguing about it. No. it. It was a fun moment, and just two people standing on the mm -hmm. beach, you know. Well, if it was ourselves. about me without my shirt, but they couldn't see. I I had different. I had these things on and they go down. The only thing that holds them on me is my penis, I think. <laughs> so they go pretty low. And that's only if I'm standing in her company. <laughs> standing Hampton. Um, you see that? If you pay attention. We're close enough now. If you pay attention in these things, when I stop and take a, a light, a cigarette, sometimes I will just take a cigarette because I'm on to the next thing. But if you see my eyes doing that, that means I forgot what I was talking about. Oh, those are tongues. Yes, I'm giving you them all. That's why we're sitting closely enough. Doesn't mean I'm bullshitting you. But uh, here, so yeah, um, the thing is, there we are act utilitarians here. We go by the, the situation at hand and decide whether the things that other people have to say really, really are that important. And sometimes you have to be able to bend a little bit from while generally living as an act utilitarian, you have to allow yourself that's a sneaky guy, isn't it? To be able to just roll with the changes and know look, am I am I hurting somebody else by protecting myself? How hard? And so you're just able to change as things go. And if you aren't able to do that, I'd like to see a percentage. I'd say it's probably just about like election result percentage of people that can't follow the rules. I mean, bend the rules. They, there are rules and they follow it, and they do what they're told. Fuck that, won't you do what you told me? <laughs> That's your song. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh... Happy birthday, Nicole. Take us for birthday. <gasps> Happy birthday, Nicole. <laughs> Come on, baby, one, two, three, fuck that. One, two, three. <laughs> fuck that! <laughs> Wait, 
It's fuck one, you, two, I won't three. do what you tell me. I, I never I, I really listened to the song. I went two, three. Fuck, fuck you, you, I won't do what you told me. me. <laughs> if you don't have a happy birthday, I don't know what I'll do with myself. Okay, that's the birthday card with the masturbating guy on it. Um, so, it's yeah, definitely. if you have to live by the rule of utilitarianism, you, you still choose. You're not necessarily following the rules that are put upon you. Mm -hmm. You could have an internal locus of control, whereas you would follow the rules you have placed upon you. But uh, when you start getting too much like that, you find that people are just going to choose sides to the extent that they cannot, they will not be allowed to change their minds. Well, right, yeah. Because of the people they're with. And the, even if they were wrong and they know it, how can they admit it this far gone? They have to hold on. And all they can hope for, I wonder, this Pyrrhic victory, you know the Pyrrhic victory, this king Pyrrhic, whatever the hell is Pyrrhus, he uh, was fighting and fighting, he was giving up all his soldiers to death and all his food and everything, the, you know, it's like fighting for gas in World War II while JFK's dad is selling gasol through sta gasoline through Standard Oil to the Germans, where do you think they fucking made their money. I want a hero. Ah, oh, you little prick. Don't doubt. Everybody loves you. He's fun Bobby. If he hadn't been on those pills during the Cuban pig bay of pigs fucking thing, nobody would have enjoyed it at all. Like Monica sitting at a table saying, I gotta start drinking. <laughs> anyway. Pure victory, just losing everything. Oh, thank you. Just losing everything to the point that whatever has been won isn't worth a damn thing at all. It, it's worse than defeat. Nothing worse than building yourself back up. That's why I stayed at one job for nine years. I got tired of filling out fucking last five years of job applications. Need another sheet. <laughs> you pick this fucking side. This this thing that people were saying, just like that guy when I was watching Vixen News the other day. What is Vixen News? It's the bitch of a fox. It's the sycophant. What do they what do they mean? I'm sure a, a female fox is not a sycophant, sycophant, sycophant. But uh, the way we use the word bitch, it is. So it transfers. So you're going to be a fucking sycophant. Vixen News, I saw on it. It popped up. It said, comes right in saying, oh, the FDA this fucking thing and then aren't we rushing it this woman and um then they invite this fucking doctor who I, I'm sure is a Republican was in charge of CDC or something you have to look that up for yourself I will say that was surety but that's an emotional response it's motive surety and certainty they do not equal knowing and once you're sure of something, it's emotional. It's not based on this. It's based on little bits of that, and your body reacts to it. It's an emotive response, and it's not reliable to be sure of something. And so this guy comes on, he says, no, the thing is, it's perfectly fine. It's, uh, and he, I'm just paraphrasing, yeah, can't hold against me if I get it wrong because, well, I didn't tell you, I knew. Yeah, whatever. This guy says, 
it's reliable. They've gone through all the tests, all the studies. After this woman said, oh, why they rush it? Isn't it being rushed? And he's like, no, no, it's not being rushed. And here he is on Vixen News um, saying to everybody, it's not being rushed. It, it, everything's been done, it needed to be done. This is a real thing. They weighed the harms and the consequences against the benefits and they find that the, they just, wow, they blow them out of the water. There are very few harms and consequences. And uh, I heard it makes you grow a bigger penis if you've got the um, mm -hmm. virus uh, vaccine, but I wouldn't know. Somebody else might. But so he says, yeah. Well, don't you feel you're rushing it? We've done everything we need to do. And then the next guy says, what took so long? And it's like, what the fuck? Are we just getting fed by the sycophant vixen news yeah. to have lines to use against Any, people because you're to go sure against the green. yet these people are <laughs> fucking vaccinated yes. you think they're going out in the fucking public with people that watch them these fucking dregs these vulgar fucking beings you better measure their head what are their bumps like the larger the brain case the less likely one is to be intelligent or something like that. I'm not even saying that. All I'm saying is that the smaller the brain case, the more likely they are to be intelligent because it's pressing everything together. And it's uh, just like Bill Clinton said. Well, forget that. You know the joke. Uh, nothing wrong with the lad. Point is, these people are picking these things and if they get everything they want it'll either be they all died in the process but what they want is for everybody that got vaccinated to fucking die or mutate or something become in a what do they call it sterile they want something. Oh, geez, I shouldn't even brought it up. I haven't even heard of that threat. Now they've taken it up too. Let's wait and see how long it takes before somebody says how the fucking virus uh, vaccination oh, that's makes already you sterile. Out there. That's already out there. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah. When I was oh, getting my hair cut several months damn, ago. That was a close one. Um, several months ago. Well, I guess it wasn't. It just feels like it was several months. This would have been in like May. It would have been May. And get my hair cut, yep, and the one hairdresser there, she was like, yep, nope, absolutely not. I'm still planning on having kids and not getting the vaccine because I was like, oh, well, I didn't say anything, but I, mean, I don't know. We don't, I... The point is, if everybody else fucking dies off and all that are left are, are the few people that survived the fucking COVID itself, it, it's uh, it's gonna be like Stephen King's The Stand. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be small groups of people running around fighting each other, village to village, because none of them are very good at anything. Well, that's not true. Those that are left, because those that still are believers, that were on the fence, they're intelligent people. And they're gonna look at this and go, well, I mean, that's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Just sitting here waiting to see how yeah. many people are fucking gonna die before. Yeah, you know, for but real. Yeah. It turns out that is kind of. Oh, oh. <laughs> shut your mouth. <laughs> she was about to tell me to shut the damn program off. I'm so sorry. <gasps> Well, there's another one that's going to be taken off. I was off. just thinking that too. <laughs> Domestic violence. If you're kissing me. Sex and nudity. Down, smack me around. You They're just that. mad that I got my hair cut. Ah. Jason Statham looks like him.
I've heard that twice now. Siete? So, yeah, the point is, you, uh, you want everybody to die just so you, that's what it's coming to. Yeah. Wanting everybody that got it, the vaccinated, to die just so you can say, I told you so. Well, that happens. As I said, COVID's still killing people. It doesn't, hmm. If something freakish happens in a vaccinated person that affects everybody else, now not only all of those people are dead, but all the people that are naturally dying of COVID, there's going to be nobody left. And that's what I consider to be a Pyrrhic victory. My father was a drinker. Good luck.